I'm a relatively new owner of the Uniden Bearcat BCD996P2 scanner and as such I'm going through the learning curve on trying to figure out how this thing works and as I run into problems I've been making videos about the problems and how I resolve them so in the future if I run into the same problem again and I can't remember what the, what the resolution was I can refer back to the video. The problem I'm working with today I'm calling the magically appearing system and what you're seeing in front of you is the scanner program with one system called group one I'm sorry called system one uh, it's got a group called group one and then it's got five channels on it which you can I guess it's four channels actually and everything is great there it's got the uh, narrowband FM and the um, PL code the CTCSS code programmed into it which you can see down in the bottom it's got a it's got a system and a group assigned to it so everything is swell until I hit scan and all of a sudden I've got all this other stuff on there out of nowhere uh, and I can't even see my uh, my system one anymore it's gone so that that kind of confused me What I found by reading from page 82 and on a few pages on starting at something called editing service searches is that Uniden has put 12 blocks of frequencies in here by service type uh, that are pre-programmed plus another 10 that are custom programmed that the user can put frequencies in for there for a search range. And if you don't have all 22 of those locked out, when you hit the scan button, it will go back into those searches and not only scan your system but, perf but perform searches as well. So here I just hit it and I was looking to put the public safety band on a hardcore search and it will eventually go back to the system one and it will go back and forth. Here's the service searches available to you that are pre-programmed by Uniden and what you have to do is make sure that all of these are locked out or they will come up on the on the uh, scan queue when you try to scan your systems in order to view the system searches in the scanner hit the function button and rotate it and they will go through you can see ham radio marine etc goes all the way through and goes around again there i am back in system one and system two once you determine you've got this problem, the next thing to do is determine which of the service scans are actually unlocked. And the easiest way to do that is just put it on scan and watch them go by. In this case, it is ham radio and CB radio. They keep repeating, so that's what you've got. Two of them unlocked and have to be located and locked. Now that I know there are two service searches that are unlocked, CB radio and ham radio, what I have to do now is lock them out. And the way I do that, I start by hitting menu, I toggle down, I scroll down to search for, scroll down to edit search, and scroll down to ham radio, one of the ones that is uh, that are in, unlocked. Enter, scroll down to search with scan, enter, and finally down to lockout, enter. You can see it's unlocked, so I toggle that down to lock and enter. And now I'm going to go up two steps back to edit uh, search, edit service, and look for CB radio, enter, same process, search with scan, enter, lock set lockout, it's unlocked, put it on lockout, and that should complete it. Now I'm going to use the menu to toggle up to the top. And there's processing what I just did, put it on scan, and now all I'm seeing is system one and system two of my conventional system. The system searches are gone.